the Social Security and National Insurance Trust organized 2022 stakeholders meeting with the team extending pension coverage to the self-employed and informal sector workers, the role of the church. Speaking at the event was the representative from the Methodist Church Ghana, Most Reverend Kwesi Abwaje Mensa, said, On our Christian congregation, we also benefit from the pension scheme through daily teaching of the importance. Okay. As far as I recall, today is the first time we are meeting as uh, Ministers of the Gospel, a member representing our churches, for the management of state to discuss pensions and how Christians can secure their future accordingly. I must say, I'm glad to be here today for this worthy course. I'm Sure, uh, this engagement will actually provide all of us a better understanding of how the SNIT pension scheme operates and how our members and those of whom are self employed can actually benefit from this scheme. As aptly captured in uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1, there is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. In our various denominations, we have set ages at which a past pastors may retire. And when they retire, most of us receive monthly uh, remittances from the church. And despite this arrangement, most churches have signed their pastors also onto the state pension scheme as required by the law. Most of our members, because they are self employed, they cannot retire. Comfortably. If they retire, the assets of livelihood will be cut off. This challenge exists because they find themselves in the informal sector. Yes. When they find themselves in the informal uh, sector space where they do not have any structured pension plan. And if they retire, they have to rely on either family. According to the Director General for Social Security and National Insurance Trust, Dr. John Ofori Tinkorang, in his interview with Nation One TV, said that they are going to reach out to educate the general public and also to roll out electronic mode of payment to formulate the flexibility around the senior scheme contribution in Ghana. So, so what we found out is that a lot of people don't know the true benefits of the SNES scheme. Yes. Uh, that means we probably haven't done a very good job in selling the scheme and letting people know what is in it for them. So we are going to reach out on a big public education campaign where we get out of our offices and we'll go to their places of work and we will engage and educate. That's number one. Number two is that for these self-employed people, the mode of payment has to be streamlined and be made easier. So we are going to roll out electronic modes of payment such that you don't have to leave your place of work to come to SNET or even to go to a partner bank to pay. But you can pay with the Momo and it will be ELV exempt. Uh, you can pay from your bank account on the internet directly to SNET. You don't have to even to walk to the uh, bank's branch and so on and so forth. And we are going to make also the registration 
a little bit easier because now all you have to show us is your Ghana card and with that we can get a lot of information about you and we just only have to fill in a few details as to where you are working and so on and so forth. So I think that with the rollout that we are about to do, it will make it, first it will make people understand what is in it for them so that out of their own free will, they will come and join the scheme for their uh, protection in old age. And uh, two, to also make it easy for them to do business. A lot of people don't pay cement because one is either they don't know that it's their obligation to do, or even some of them that do know, they probably think that the Smith scheme doesn't offer much of a benefit. Because what they probably heard on the radio is somebody complaining that, oh, they work for 30 something years, and all they are getting is peanuts. That's what they've heard on the radio. But what they don't hear is that there are people who are getting paid 20,000 Ghana cities a month, 100,000 Ghana cities a month, 80,000 Ghana cities a month with the same scheme uh, and because the narrative the negative narrative gets amplified then people it becomes self-fulfilling and people will say okay i'm not going to pay so it's not really totally because we haven't reached out but it's also because uh, we haven't made we haven't publicized the good things about us and all I can say is that the Smith scheme is second to none in this country as far as pension is concerned. Because we are the only game in town that can tell you that we will pay you on the Also day. speaking at the event was the world-renowned evangelist Dr. Lawrence Tete established on the need for general public to see the importance of the contribution to Senate scheme, most especially for the sake of their old age. The insurance scheme, and also the pension scheme, and also the SNIC scheme. Most often, I know because of judges, people don't understand it. That's why a lot of people don't contribute to the pension. But if you understand it to be sustained, the language is broken for you. You see the need to protect your future. Don't forget that our future is very important. If we live just for today, and be prepared, near the it destroys your future. So. I am very happy with the approach of the Director General and the fact that he wrote things down and also allowed people to ask questions. Don't forget that those of us invited here are the church leaders, are the religious leaders. We are the ones who have the vast masses. I keep saying that when it comes to religious leaders and traditional leaders, we even reach out to people much more than politicians. So when you engage us, you give us the chance to also disseminate information to the rank and file of our community. And then the level of trust from our point of view works well. When an NDC man is presenting this, we look at it as an NDC agenda. When an NDC man is presenting this, we look at it as an NPP agenda. And when a pastor or a religious leader or a real leader or traditional leader is presenting it, there's a level of trust that people accept it and we need it. It's so crucial that we encourage people to contribute to their future. Because whether we like it or not, many years ago I never had grey hair. Today I have grey hair. So the young people, if the young understand the essence of contributing towards their pension, towards their old age, it gives us chance to be secure. So we will not live in want when we really have a lot of responsibility sense is to go back and send a message data. If the leaders understand what the message is, they are able to explain it better. Don't forget that in the past, people have seen SNIT as enforcement agents, as a law enforcement agent, as, as a very fearful institution when somebody says it's coming to And most of the people who let it make it sound as though they are the police and they are the regulators and things. But when you understand this agreement, people will do things for you. And, and that's why you say that. It's like the Bible says, when you train the child the way of the Lord, when they grow, they will not depart. These are the gauge marks that are very sensible and very much needed for our community. We must engage the stakeholders. We should not come with what I really will encourage that we should let this message to be word of judge. What do I mean by that? Very heavy word, very technical word, very scientific word, very um, scrutiny minded words, and that keeps people. But if we can break the language down 